Lights are out, coming to green. The first Tulsa shootout, a main of the night is underway. Gavin Bochel jumps out to the early lead. To the bottom goes Bochel, leading the crew through. Down the back straightaway, looking to get the first lap in under incident free. Couple of cars together. Everybody drives through lap number one. Gavin Bochel here at the Tulsa shootouts. Battle at the front between the young guns. Gavin Bochel, your pole sitter. Jace Park, outside pole. One, two on your screen and Park throwing that CB Industries 89 into the inside of turns one and two, trying to follow Gavin Bochel as they try to pull away from third place Ashton Torgerson. So people know it's an option that's right in front of your leader, Bochel. It's gotta be in the back of his mind that if he catches the tail end of this field, that he might have to do it. Let's see how he lines up this lap traffic as he hauls the mail into turn number three. We are under 10 laps to go. Single digits this time by Bochel versus Park is the battle up front. Here comes Cannon McIntosh, though. He's able to separate himself from Ashton Torgerson. And I think if these two start duking it out through lap traffic, as here it goes, Emerson Axum. First car inside the top five that's on the top side of the racetrack. What can Emerson do to try to catch up to this battle as you see him rip on the right-hand side of your screen? Trying to make something happen. He's lost one spot to Marchum. Cannon McIntosh to the high side trying to bust into the top two. It's a long ways around up there. This time it's Park taking the shot. Upstairs of one and two might be a little better than three and four. Park's going to get way up in the cushion into the marbles, but a run and a new leader on lap with number 25. Jace Park around the outside of Gavin Bochel, new leader in the CB Industries 89, coming to three laps to go. Bochel now to follow around the top side. Again, Jace Park still has to contend with lap traffic. Cannon McIntosh on the bottom trying to take over second. McIntosh might have the best car of the three as he can run either groove. It is Bochel trying to get back by Park this time around. Two to go. Park has gotten by a lapper. Jace Park on the top side Guys, of the racetrack. We got, a, we got a yellow and a crash in turn one. Trey Cannon Marchand. McIntosh blew up. Oh, and Cannon McIntosh getting out of the race car in a hurry. Smoke coming from the front end of that race car. We saw Trey Marcham also stopped up briefly against the wall. Three laps to go for Jace Park. Will it be Gavin Bochel Heroics? We'll find out. Three more laps to go in the stock not wing A main. To the bottom goes Bochel looking for room. They're almost even off a of two. Park will hold them off as they enter three. Two to go. The popsicle sticks are in hand. And a new leader is Gavin Michelle. Park going to cross over underneath. Gavin's going to shut the door. Coming down the back straightaway. New leader is Gavin Bochelle. The pole sitter trying to win his first golden driller. He's going to come off a four. The white flag is in the air. One lap to go. Park to the top side of the racetrack. One more Hail Mary attempt for the young man in the CB Industries 89 through three. Coming out of turn number four, Gavin Bochel wins the Tulsa shootout in Stockton on wing.